Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is Tuesday, March 30th, uh, which means that it's movie release Tuesday. So for today's video, um, I'll be showing you guys what I picked up for today, uh, March 30th, as well as show you guys all of my pickups for the month. Uh, uh, so usually for my pickups, if they're just standard Blu-rays and not limited editions, I'll just save those for the end of the month and I'll show those to you guys here. Also, my son is here with me and he's making new noises, so I apologize in advance if there's any noise in the background. Um, if there is noise, you guys know what it is. There he is right now. But all right, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start off with my anime pickups for the month. We'll get to my Tuesday pickups later in the video. All right, so first up, we got Boogie Pop and Others, the complete series. Uh, this is a Funimation title, but I don't think I picked this one up during the Funimation sale that was going on a couple of weeks ago. I think it was actually last week. They had a bunch of great stuff during that Funimation sale. Uh, this one, I believe, was a daily deal, if I remember correctly. And it was a pretty great deal for this one, because this one always goes like over 40 bucks for some reason, which I don't understand why. Uh, it's only a series that has, oh, I guess it has 18 episodes. Maybe that's why. Um, but yeah, I picked up Boogie Pop Phantom, um, which I believe is the prequel series, or I'm not too sure how um, what the difference is between this one and Phantom. But I know that there's an order that you, you should probably watch them in. I definitely need to look that up before I start watching this series, but this one intrigued me. Uh, I've heard it's a great sort of like a psychological thriller type um, anime, which I love those, so I definitely wanted to check this one out. Uh, it is still sealed, so let's open it up and see if we get any disc art inside. All right, so yeah, we do get some disc art. Here's this one, episode one through nine, and then here's this two, episodes 10 through 10 through 18 plus the special features uh, if we go inside it looks like we get yeah the same art that's on the disc is here in the background as well so that's pretty nice and then on the back we didn't take a look at this beforehand but uh, we already saw that it's 18 episodes we do get a 5.1 surround sound uh, it's TV 14 and and yeah that's pretty much it uh, so yeah, looking forward to this one. If you guys have seen this series, definitely let me know your thoughts. All right, next up is another series that has been getting a lot of love, um, at, at least the manga. I've been hearing a lot of great things about the manga for this one. Not so much about the anime, but I saw this one also for a pretty great deal on Mercari, actually. Um, I've noticed that on Mercari, you can pretty much find series like this one's where it's just the Blu-ray and digital um, after they're released for a discounted price and they're brand new, as you guys can see here. Uh, so this one goes for, I believe, 30 or 35, 40 bucks, something like that, brand new. Uh, but I was able to pick this one up maybe like the week after it was released, and I got this one for 25 bucks, which is pretty good if you ask me for a new release. Uh, so yeah, I thought that was a good deal, and I picked it up. The cover looks amazing here. I love all of the colors. All of the characters look really nice as well. And the back as well looks pretty cool. It looks kind of gothic-y. So, uh, so here we do get a little bit of images from the series. Uh, they look pretty nice in these little hexagons here. She looks pretty cute. Uh, so yeah, here's another one. I'm probably not gonna get to this one anytime soon. I have a lot of other stuff in my watch log. Yeah, this will be one that I save for way down in the future probably. But yeah, this one also includes a 5.1 surround sound has 12 episodes, it does, oh, the special features are 50 minutes, so it's not just an opening. Uh, so yeah, it says here that we actually get an interview. Uh, so I actually like it when my Funimation sets have interviews. It's kind of fun to watch those, so that's nice that this one does have some, in, um, some special features other than just the textless opening and ending songs. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get inside now. Uh, same thing with the Blu-ray case on the front and on the back. So we can just skip that and go straight in. All right, wow. So we even get a lenticular card with this one, which is pretty cool. Uh, so it's the same image that's in the front and the slip cover, which I do really like. So yeah, I like this uh, lenticular card that they, they give me here. All right, and then here's the disc. So the disc, not too much color, not as much color as the front. It's mainly just red here, but here's disc one. And disc two. 
And then taking the discs out, you do get some background art as well. So is it supposed to be like this? Yeah, it looks like it's actually like this. So I guess this might be the toilet where you can find Hanako-kun. <laughs> but yeah, from what I've heard, it's sort of like a folk tale. This thing is a, it's actually like a, a tale that they tell kids when they're younger, stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to kind of learn a little bit more about Japan and watch through this series. Um, so <clears throat> yeah, that's toilet bound Hanako-kun. Let's move on to my next pickup. All right, next up we got a, our last standard release and then we'll move into a few Steelbook anime pickups that I have. Uh, but this next one is from Sentai Filmworks. I picked this one up during the Sentai Filmworks sale. Um, that one was a little bit weird. I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, at least on Right Stuff, they had the Sentai Filmworks sale, I think the week after Sentai actually had it, which was Pretty great. I always prefer to buy them from Rice Stuff because they're free shipping and then there's no tax. Whereas if you purchase from Sentai Filmworks, uh, they'll I think they'll give you free shipping, but they tax all of your items. Uh, so yeah, when I when when the sale went to Rice Stuff, I actually picked up a few things, but only the first few days they actually matched the price from the Sentai Filmworks sale. I think like the second half of that week where they had the Sentai Filmworks sale. And I believe even now this week they, they brought it back, but prices are not um, that great. Uh, they're actually higher than the sale prices that Sentai Filmworks had. So, uh, so I'm glad I was able to pick up a few things before the prices went up. Uh, one of those was this title right here, which is The Demon Girl Next Door, uh, the complete collection. I believe this is one of their newer releases. Uh, it is TV 14, it has 12 episodes. But unfortunately, this one doesn't have a surround sound. It's only stereo audio. And yeah, let's quickly read the synopsis for this one because I really don't know too much about this one. But uh, this one says when... So this one sounds like it's going to be kind of like a comedic slice of light life type anime uh, with cutesy girls like you guys can kind of see here on these images here, uh, which I don't mind. I sometimes enjoy those type of shows, so hopefully I enjoy this one. If not, I'll just end up setting it. But yeah, let's open this up and see what the inside looks like now. All right, so no background art. We do have art on the discs, which... Man, we've been pretty lucky in all of these so far. We've had inside disc art, and these also look pretty nice as well. So disc one has episodes one through nine, and disc two has episodes 10 through 12. Uh, from the looks on the front, I guess she's the one who becomes the demon girl. Oh wait, actually she has the horn, so I guess she becomes uh, the demon girl. But all right, looks interesting. I guess I'll give you guys my thoughts once I go to watching this one, but again, Kind of like um, the rest of these so far. Uh, it'll probably be a while before I get to this one. All right, next up, uh, continuing with the Sentai cell. This is, I believe, the last, last thing that I actually picked up for myself during the Sentai Filmwork cell, and that was Vampire Hunter D. Uh, this was the Steelbook, and when this one got released, I was kind of wanting to pick it up uh, just because it's a Steelbook, and I love a series about vampires. Haven't seen this one yet, uh, but it looks really gothic, pretty interesting, and I believe it's had pretty good reviews, so decided to finally pick it up during this sale, and I got it for a pretty good price as far as steelbooks go from Sentai Filmworks, so glad I was able to pick this one up during the sale. Uh, so here's the back. This one is TV Matures, so you know you're gonna get all that R-rated uh, vampire goodness with all the blood and everything, so yeah, I'm excited to check this one out. Uh, this one's 80 minutes. This one is a film, it's not an anime. And then as far as the audio goes, you only get a 2.1 stereo audio, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, here are some of the still shots from the series. Uh, so this is an older movie, and you can kind of tell from the artwork here, but uh, but sometimes the older animation does look really good. So um, hopefully this one looks good. There are some shots in here that look pretty nice. So yeah, hopefully I end up liking this one. All right, so taking off the plastic wrap, uh, here's the front. It's sort of just like a matte finish, nothing too special on this steelbook here. And then on the back, 
Uh, it is a little bit shinier and you get this pretty nice image of a castle. So I'm guessing this is the castle where all the vampires are in. And then we get a full moon there in the background, which uh, the back actually looks, it's pretty simple, but it looks pretty nice. Now opening it up, again, we get that sort of reddish tint on the background with the silhouette, I guess, of the vampire hunter, it looks like, because he has that huge hat. Uh, and then here is the disc, which just matches the same artwork on the front here. And if I take this off, all right, we, uh, we do get some more artwork here on the back, which I guess that's the same castle that we saw on the back of the steelbook. All right, so overall, not a bad steelbook. I do kind of like the design. I like how it looks. It looks very gothic. I like the gothic look to it. So yeah, let's move on to the next two steelbooks, which are uh, the, I guess they, they kind of release these every month, but they released uh, two Studio Ghibli steelbooks about every month or every two, two months or so. And I've had most of them already. Uh, now we're getting into stuff that I haven't seen yet. So these two Ghibli films, I haven't seen either of these. Uh, so it'll be fun to kind of go back and watch these. Um, I love watching this, these with my wife. She kind of grew up watching Studio Ghibli mo movies. Uh, she also hasn't seen all of them. I don't think she's actually seen these either. So yeah, we'll probably watch these in the next couple of months. I hate the back of these steelbooks, but let's open it up anyways and take a look at this without the plastic wrap. All right, so here's what it looks like uh, without the plastic wrap. And then again, like I said, when you take this off, uh, there's nothing back here except for a few scratches. <laughs> so yeah, you do get that in some cases. Uh, so let's open this up. All right, so yeah, I thought this was the one with the cat. So I don't know. I feel like they probably should have put him in the front instead of this image here. Uh, it's not my favorite one of these images here in front of the Studio Ghibli uh, steel books, but yeah, I feel like it probably would have been better with that guy in the front. Uh, but here's the disc art. Uh, these generally do match the steel book artwork that was on the um, on the G Kid releases of these um, films. So yeah, here's the Blu-ray, and that's the DVD. And these do have some background art. So if I take everything off. There's the background art. And that's a huge cat right there. Oh, I guess it's that cat right there. But yeah, we are a family of cats, so I feel like we might enjoy this one. Um, all right, next up is Whisper of the Heart. Uh, this one I actually know nothing about, but this girl right here looks like the girl from, is it Kiki's Delivery Service? I don't know, but she looks familiar to one of the other girls that I've seen in one of the other Studio Ghibli films. Um, but yeah, this one is a purple steelbook, so I do like that. Oh man, but opening this one up, this one does have a dent in this upper left-hand corner. And I think that's it. Otherwise, it's not too bad, which I guess I'm not too mad about since I really don't like the back of this one, so I never really look at it. Uh, but the front is pristine, it does look really nice, and I love the purple uh, steelbook here. Uh, much prefer this one over the, the Cat Returns. So let's open it up. Uh, here's the little booklet that comes with the standard Blu-ray release as well. And then here are the Blu-ray and the DVD. And then the background art, which, yeah, it's just some scenery here, not the best background art on this one. Oops, forgot to put this in here. All right, guys, and that's already been, I've already been recording for about 24 minutes, so I think I'll stop it here for now. Um, I'll create a separate video for my non-anime related pickups, but yeah, have some nice anime pickups here. Let me know what you guys think about these pickups. Um, if you guys have seen any of these, definitely let me know your thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.